let's talk about fixed income here because Chinese bonds seen as potentially the winner on the other side of rising uh, rates over in the U.S. Uh, you have said that Chinese government bonds offer some of the best value on the market right now. Well, and like you look down the indexes this year, bond markets are in the red, but there's one bond market in the green, and that's the Chinese government bond market. So mm -hmm. it's been a standout performer this year. Uh, we've had a very strong rally, particularly in the back part of the yield curve. Uh, we think that's going to continue. So bonds are offering a high nominal yield. They're offering a high real yield. So that should be attractive in a world where there is no yield in uh, Europe or Japan in particular. So that, I think that's going to be continue on grinding. Okay, let's bring in Oriel into the conversation. Oriel. Uh, Kiko, thank you so much. Hayden, pleasure to have you with us today. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, what did you take away from the jobs report uh, that came out on Friday? Uh, are you concerned by these latest numbers or are you, I suppose, encouraged by the unemployment rate? Well, look, the, the jobs report, I think, was pretty benign. Everybody was focusing in on the higher wages. When you get into the detail of the wages, I think it's pretty hard to see a huge uh, blow out in wage appreciation here because most of the jobs are going into the healthcare sector. And the health tech sector is one of those ones that tend to be more regulated. So until you start seeing those regulations changing there, then I get a little bit more worried about wages. End Are you of the concerned? day, the Fed is for... Yeah, sorry. So go ahead, Hayden. Go ahead. Look, at the end of the day, what we're seeing with um, the Fed, they're focused on the domestic economy. What they're not focused on is the dollars that are outside of the US Federal Reserve System. They're in the global banks, uh, which are non-deposit taking institutions. What we're seeing there right now is a lot of stress in those markets when I look across all the various indicators. So which particular markets are you most concerned about then, Hayden? Well, look, we saw Friday night Argentina come out and mm. absolutely shock the market mm. with huge rate hikes there, and now we're at 40% overnight interest rates. They're trying not to use their FX reserves. We've seen this in LIBOR OIS. Uh, we've seen this in Australian banks here who are having to pay up now because they fund a lot of their market uh, in US dollars. Um, you know, go around the world, you're starting to see cracks mm. in those markets mm. that rely on dollars. Right. And now, is this a contagion effect right now? I yeah. think it's way too early. Mm. We're starting to see all those red flags go up right now.